So you've seen my big five video, you've seen my little five video, now let's talk about the impossible five, the supposedly five hardest animals to find in nature. First up we have white lions. White lions are not albinos. Instead it's a rare color mutation of the lion, specifically the southern African lion. The genetic marker that created the white coloration was identified through a collaborative study between multiple countries in October 2013. These lions are regarded as divine by some African cultures. The earliest recording sightings of these were in 1938, but they only became known to the English-speaking world in 1977 through the publishing of a book. From the 70s onwards, prized for their rarity, white lions, as well as many normal colored lions, carrying the white lion gene, were removed from the wild and put into captive breeding and hunting programs, and sent to zoos and circuses around the globe. By 1992, white lions became extinct in nature, as all of them have removed from their natural habitat. Only in 2004 did the Global White Lion Protection Trust initiate a first ever establishment of white lions back into the wild, based on successful reintroduction techniques learned with other lions. The wild-born offspring of the rehabilitated white lions were integrated with resident wild tawny lions and released through a soft release process. The primary aim of the Global White Lion Protection Trust is to harness cultural importance of white lions to local indigenous communities to help protect the Kruger to Canyon biosphere and the greater lion population of the region. Subsequently, white lion cubs have been born in the Timbabati Private Nature Reserve in 2006, 2008, 2009, 2011, 12 and 13, as well as the Nwetsi area of the Kruger National Park in 2014 and 2015, confirming that the recessive gene is still present and occurring in wild populations and that white lions are indeed a natural occurrence. White lions are not albino but leucistic. The gene responsible for the mutation can lead to albinoism in more extreme forms, but they don't seem to have any drawbacks for their coloration. White lions can be selectively bred for their pigment, ranging from blonde to near white. They can also be selectively bred for the eye colors. Genetically, they're the same subspecies as the tawny South African lions, and the reintroduction of white lions into the Ohio do have critics who believe the lions may have genetic defects. However, ethical reintroduction programs have ensured that the lions are not inbred. In the next video, we're going to talk about the pangolin, which is also a member of the Impossible Five. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe.